Hello YouTube, Workshop Forest here. I was getting ready to restore the Trek 720 and I made a mistake. And once I realized the mistake that I made, I said, you know what, I need to make a tech tip video about this so that other people can hopefully avoid the mistake. So I'll explain the tech behind cantilever brakes, then I'll tell you the mistake that I made, and I'll tell you how I fixed it. When we're talking about cantilever brakes, we're talking about any brake that works with cantilever posts. Here are a couple different sets of cantilever posts on frames and forks. There are two primary types of brakes that work with cantilever posts. One are what are generally known as cantilever brakes. Here's a couple different cantilever brakes from bikes in the fleet. And here are some cantilever brakes off of bicycles. This one is a Shimano and this is a Tektro. You can see the designs are similar and they both pivot upwards to contact the rim and stop the bicycle. Now the other primary type of brake that works with cantilever posts is called a V-brake. Here are some V-brakes on some bikes. And here is a set of Shimano V-brakes off of a bicycle. You can see they still connect to the bicycle via the cantilever post. But now with these long arms, V-brakes use slightly different mechanics to squeeze the brake. And those different mechanics are where you can get tripped up. V-brakes and cantilever brakes are both compatible with any cantilever equipped frame. But there is another compatibility issue that you have to be aware of if you want to change between cantilever and V-brakes. And that has to do with the brake levers that you're going to use to actuate these brakes. And that's where my little cheat sheet whiteboard comes in. There are two basic types of levers, long pull and short pull. Long pull brakes are also sometimes known as direct pull or linear pull. All three of these are the same. They're all long pull brakes and they all work with V brakes. Short pull levers are what you need if you're using cantilever brakes. They are also what you use with road caliper brakes. And they're also what you can use with something called mini V brakes. So that's the background on short pull and long pull cantilever brakes. So the mistake that I made when I ordered parts for the Trek 720, the brake levers that I ordered are these. This is the Shimano EF41 kit, which is a combination shifter, gear shifter, and brake lever. And very clearly on the brake lever embossed, it says V-brake. V-brake equals long pull. The brakes on the track are cantilever brakes. Which means they're short pull. So if I tried to use these brake levers with the cantilever brakes that are on that bike, there would be some pretty poor braking performance. So how did I solve the compatibility issue for the Trek 720? Well, by buying more parts, of course. I got a set of BRT 4000 Shimano V brakes, which are the ones that I've been showing you. So that bike's gonna get new brakes, front and rear, which includes new pads, all new hardware, and then this kit, and the, one of the reasons I like the kit so much is because the kit includes all of the cable and housing that you need to install it. So once, so once this kit and these two pair of brakes are installed on that Trek, it'll have a completely new braking system that I know is gonna work really well. So that wraps up my tech tip. I hope you find it useful. Just to summarize, with cantilever brakes, you gotta pay attention if it's a long pull or a short pull brake, 
and make sure that the brake itself and the levers that you're using to actuate that brake are compatible. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go for a ride. So should you. So how did I solve this compatibility? How did I solve the compatibility? Because I really wanted to. So I said, look, I already have the brief. So how did I solve this problem? Well, of course, I solved it by spending more money. How else do you solve problems?